Growing up as Disney fans, we felt like all of the Disney characters were our friends. We totally related to them and their daily struggles, whether they were human, alien, or animal. And sometimes we even had crushes on them. Today we're going to focus on the Disney animals that we may or may not have had crushes on back in the day. What's not to like about the amazing, adventurous, hilarious Disney animals and other characters from our favorite Disney movies and television shows? They have goals, most of them can sing, and they are seriously confident and cool. And here are some of our favorite Disney characters that we may or may not have, but you know, may have had crushes on growing up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Azalea Hart. Which Disney character did you have a crush on? Comment down below. If it's your first time here, welcome and be sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you never miss when I upload a new video. Check out some more Disney videos while you're here too because I got a lot of them. Follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe, but for now, let's get into the list. Now who wasn't a huge fan of The Lion King growing up? Grown up Simba was of course so suave and sweet. He rocked the heck out of that Hakuna Matata lifestyle, but the way he stepped up to Pride Rock when he needed to and saved his family and friends, we totally had a crush on this mighty king. Besides, this is my kingdom. If I don't fight for it, who oh will? I will. It's gonna be dangerous. Now I know the movie was about Quasimodo and it's even called The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but let's be real. This movie was all about Esmeralda. I mean, sure, you root for Quasimodo and you just want to give him a big hug, but there's just something mesmerizing about Esmeralda using her wit and smarts and good looks to get herself out of trouble every time. I mean, she didn't necessarily use her looks, but we're all thinking it. So there's 10 of you and one of me. What's a poor girl to do? <gasps> <gasps> Tramp and the Lady and the Tramp is the perfect combination of confidence and scrappiness. If there ever was a dog to have a crush on, it's him. From the moment he took Lady on that amazing and famous spaghetti dinner date, you can't tell me that every time you've eaten spaghetti, you haven't thought of sharing it with someone you love just for that moment. Tell the truth. Shucks, any dog can take that. It's what they do to your happy home. Move it over, will you, friend? Homewreckers, that's what they are. Speaking of telling the truth, I thought Flynn Rider was a bit of a douche for a good portion of Tangled. I mean, he kind of is. He was arrogant, shallow, and he would 100% marry himself if he could, but he did end up being a pretty good guy after all. Plus, he's good looking, so. In Mulan, a general who teaches Mulan everything she needs to know and who falls in love with someone for their personality rather than their appearance? What did we ever do to deserve Shang? At number seven, from the smile to the street smarts to his ambition, you know who I'm talking about. Aladdin and his athletic ability and selflessness won his way into our hearts immediately. He can show us a whole new world whenever he wants. Yes, I added another animal to this list. We certainly had a crush on Robin Hood from the moment we first saw him is strolling through Sherwood Forest. He is cool, funny, and heroic. He's not afraid to stand up for what he believes in, and he also has an amazing group of friends and the respect of everyone around him. He's just checking items off the list. Guess I was thinking about Maid Marian again. I can't help it. I love her, Johnny. It's impossible to ignore Lumiere's charm and warm nature, and the fact that he always provides romantic lighting is a bonus. Plus, he seems to wear his heart in his sleeve, which is always an endearing quality. At number four, those big blue eyes tell no lies. When the illustrators over at Disney were creating Prince Eric, they knew exactly what they were doing to our hearts. I know that most people fell in love with Ariel and her eyes. She can sing, she can swim, and her outfit is the bomb, but Eric wasn't so bad himself. It doesn't hurt either that he's a tad bit clueless, and you know, that just makes him extra cute. All right guys, we are at our final three Disney characters that everyone has had a crush on. Has your crush made the list so far? If not, who is it and why? Comment down below. We still have three more to go, but since you're here, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out some more Disney videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe. Let's keep going with some nerds. Milo is one of the most underrated Disney cuties. He's totally nerdy, but like in a hot way? He's smart, sensitive, and has adorably oversized glasses. What's not to love? Tadashi joins Milo as the brains of the bunch. Genius inventor and amazing older brother, Tadashi was taken away from us too soon. Let's get a Big Hero 6 prequel story just so we could focus on him. When are you gonna start doing something with that big brain of yours? What, go to college like you? So people can tell me stuff I already know? Unbelievable. All right, at number one, sure he was hideous, he was a beast for most of the movie, but Prince Adam was one damn fine human being underneath. Come on, be honest, you totally crushed hard after the transformation scene at the end, right? All right, y'all, that's it for this video on 12 Disney characters that everyone has had a crush on. Your favorite must have made the list. If he or she did not, comment it down below. Tell me who it was and why. Check out some more Disney videos while you're here, and I'll see you next time.